So, um, you know, this year's been crazy. We all know this. Well, people that know me. Um, the one thing that I keep seeing throughout the year, I've had this experience myself, you know, dealing with people that act fake. In my opinion, I think you should just keep to yourself. Um, we have enough fake crap going on in the world anyways. So, if you want to act fake, you want to be stupid, immature, at least just leave me alone. Because, and people that are good people, go cry to your whatever crowd that, you know, will believe your flipping lies. But, honestly, I'm sick and tired of me and the people I care about having a bunch of fakes sit there and lie to them. Act like they care and they don't. Okay? Um, a little bit about me is I've been through a very bad life. I was a victim. I always believed that it was my fault because they made me believe that. And for any of you that are victims out there, it's don't take it as your fault. It's not worth you believing it's your fault. Because you know what? There's people out there that are just douchebags. Want you to believe what they want. And that's called stupid. Okay? If you were to cut anyone in the world, they're going to bleed red. Just like you, just like me. There's no reason we should be sitting out here as a community, as a whole, as a family, whatever you are. We shouldn't be sitting here um, talking smack on each other. Because you know what? There's already enough of that around the world. A true Christian would sit there and put their, how they would feel first. They would think about the way Christ would think. You know what? I've seen several people and that were said they were really strong LDS. You know what? You can kiss my butt if you act like this in your LDS. Because that is, you're a part of the Christianity race, and that is not Christ-like. Sit here and lie about people, hurt people, that is not Christ-like. That's called, you're a dumbass. If you say you're Christian, you need to reevaluate yourself and what it part be, takes to be a Christian. Okay? I don't belong to any specific religion. And I'll tell you why. Because none of them make sense to me. What I look at and when I feel like I'm being a, my best person is when I think about God and Jesus. Okay? For all you people that can't understand what they would do or don't act like they, they say you'd act and you say you're Christian... You should get tattooed on you in abbreviations of what would Jesus do. Because you know what? I've seen a lot of people like that are a high faith of some sort. Whether it's Christian, Buddhist, or whatever. Okay? Whatever your religion is, but you just want to dog on other people. You know what? Stop. There's enough of that in this world. And it's not right. And for all of you bullies out there, and I know what bullies do to people, okay? Fix your own life first. Don't put other people through it just because you think you need to. I've lived both sides of that stick. I was a bully because I was being bullied. You know what? The damage it does to people and is done to me, you need to stop. You could be the end of the chain, the cycle. You just need to put your foot down. And for anyone that gets victimized, don't tolerate it. Stand up for yourself. Because no one can take you seriously if you can't take yourself seriously. That and, like I said, I'm not, I don't belong to any religion, but there's a verse I like. God helps who helps themselves. If you're not gonna help yourself, don't expect help because it's not going to come. And for you people out there that are trying to change people to be what you want them to be, 
stop and evaluate weight your own life. Okay? If you're wanting to change them because you think they're cute and you want them in a different personality, well, you don't deserve them. And if you're getting treated like that, I hope you know they don't deserve you. Now to hit a subject that hits really close to home. I've had a couple of friends have family issues and, you know, parents acting immature. You know what? I can relate to that. My dad's sitting here lying through his teeth. You know what? It sucks. But the only thing I can say is I'm grateful he gave me the greatest gift. And that's my life. You know what? Other than that, he's nothing to me anymore. Because a father would stand there for their child through thick and thin. They wouldn't hurt him. They wouldn't let them get hurt. Or make them choose. People that do that, you know what they're called? In my eyes, nothing. Nothing at all. So, why don't we all just stop being assholes to each other? You know, there's part of being an asshole with a friend and just rising hell. And even with a friend, it can go too far. So learn those frames. Don't be a flippin' bully. Show respect. If you got something that's rude to say, think of Bambi and what Thumper says. Because you know what? This world's already gone to hell enough. It would take us to pull us out of hell. But the way it's going, we just want to be rude to each other. want to be mean. We want to cause problems. It all starts with you. Me. Anyone that wants to make a difference. We got to change. We can't sit here and just be someone we're not all the time. And if you're miserable about your life, it takes you to figure out what's going to happen. Your future depends on you. You can change any part of your life you don't like. And if you're unhappy about something, change it. I know I was unhappy about a lot of things in my life. You know what? I eliminated those things. I finally said, screw it. Actions are going to speak louder than words to me anymore. The people that there speak, their actions didn't match it. I don't need you. And if you can find those people in your life that do that and eliminate them, you'll be good. Like in that Hobson video, at the end it has a quote. Sometimes to change, you can't fit, fear it. And some friends are only allowed to, are seasonal and some are permanent. Sometimes you gotta let bad friends go to get new friends. If these, the people you have in your life aren't holding you up, they're tearing you down, you need to get rid of them. They're no good for you. And I know I don't like watching my, the people I care about go through this. And it's unreal. You know, a father should be there for everything for you. They're the ones that, you know, are supposed to support you the most. But you know what? I don't believe it anymore. There's a lot of piece of crap fathers out there anymore. It's pretty sad. Let's put it this way. If you're going to make a kid, you act like a man. Not like someone that's going to run as soon as things get hard. We don't win battles. And a relationship's like a battle. You're going to lose some, you're going to win some. But it depends on if you want it to work, if you're going to keep fighting. And if you don't want to fight or compromise or meet in the middle, or a relationship's 100-100, not 50-50, not nothing. So if you can't meet in the middle, you don't need them in your life. So, yeah. That's what, that's all I can say. And I'm, I don't like watching close ones go through that either. I'm a very protective person. So, but there's, you can't.
they treat people like that. So, all right. <laughs>